My name is Kerry Vincent. I'm the show director for the Oklahoma State Sugar Arts Show. The Oklahoma State Sugar Arts Show is the largest judge sugar arts show in the United States and the second largest in the world. This year, we decided at the show that we would have an add-on function and it's going to be what we call Halloween's Last Hurrah, which will be a fondant cake tableau and we are attempting to make the largest tableau that's ever been made. It has about 75 people who are going to push it out in around about 36 hours. And we have three team leaders that I've categorised as the cake chicks. Our team leaders are Bronwyn Weber, who is well known on Food Network Challenge as one of the veteran challenge competitors. And we have Carolyn Wonky Mangold, who has been in the business for a very long time. And the same for Sherry Elder. We're building a haunted house and the end result will be three areas of a panorama. It will be seen all the way around. My area will be kind of the ghostly side and then on the other side will be Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein. And then there's trees and ghosts and spiders and bats and oh my! I believe in putting the details into the fondant and not into the cake. And this is essentially a class that we're teaching. And the three of us break the groups into three and we teach them how to make some crazy giant cake. Okay, let's make some pumpkins really quick. And as they rotate around the room, they get to be a part of the whole exercise. So when they're done, they will be able to say, we worked on the entire project. Well, we need things to put on the big project. We need like smaller items. So what we're doing is we're starting with the little bats and the ghost. I use black pipe cleaners. Carolyn is responsible for the giant haunted house, so all of her students learn how to put together a big house and carve the roof and build chimneys and brickwork. So this is very hard. It takes a very strong person to be able to cut. We're not only just teaching like leaves and things like that, but how to actually construct a house and how to measure and how to get the things on there in the right place. Yay! That looks good. Yay. Okay, good. Good job. We have to make stairs, so they have to figure out how to do that. We're going to do a chimney, so what are we going to cover that in? They're making most of the decisions themselves. I just kind of give them the idea and they go with it. Very unusual to have sugar superstructures. The biggest thing I've ever done is two feet, and so this is a lot bigger than two feet. <laughs> It's a learning process for people here to understand how to put these together. So we want students to understand and take it into the future. And while we're here, we're making a fashion statement by making something super big. And of course, the public is really excited to see what we're doing. Bronwyn is making Mr. and Mrs. Frankie get married. That's Frankenstein, you know. I built the basis for Frank and Mrs. Frank out of uh, quarter inch steel. So Francois, my husband, is responsible for all the support, uh, moral and otherwise. He was the one who built all the structures. He built the six figures, their skeleton. So because he's all shoulders, he wanted to make sure that every group got to start and finish a project. So everybody gets to start a figure, and that's why we have so many of them, so that everybody sees it from start to finish. So that that's possible, we have half styrofoam and half cake. So Sherry Elder is teaching everybody how to do a gigantic tree and a bunch of little figures. I love the tree. That is an awesome looking tree. That is so completely awesome. So maybe you guys get by mouse. When something happens, you sometimes you just gotta figure out why. 
We do a ton of weddings, but I've never had nothing this big, that's for sure. I know that we had 76 cases of cake and we had 200 pounds of cake mix, 35 gallon buckets of buttercream, and 3,000 pounds of Fondex. We are using Fondex exclusively for this one. We have no other fondant here at all. Well, we've donated a lot of product to build this large cake. Um, it's, it's gonna be very fantastic. But we do that donation more or less for the good of sugar art. This is something that's never really been done before and Ms. Carrie Vincent has asked us to be a part of it and we're more than happy to, to contribute to that. We were just saying how good the Fondex was. Tastes yummy. The Fondex has been fabulous. Every student loves it. It's just been a dream. Yeah, and it's probably the best I've worked with so far. It's soft enough, but not too soft. It's working real good. I mean, it, they're not having the cracking and the splitting and the tearing that you get with some fondants. I think this is a huge feat in cake decorating, and we just want to do what we can to make it happen. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm excited because it's starting to come together. You can see the house has detail, and the bride's got her poofy dress on, and. Frank's just about done, his face is done, so it's hard not to be excited. I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be all nighter. We are running late because we were not in early when we thought we would be able to. Uh, time has definitely not been our friend. I would love to have a whole week to do this. This is something that you could work on and work on and work on and never really complete. Cake people are world renowned for getting it done on the seat of their pants and I don't think this is going to be an exception. <laughs> Everybody feels that they got uh, everything they could out of the class and maybe even a little more. 